If you guys are playing Man 21 Ultimate Team and you do need coins for that new card coming out, head over to Red Zone Coins. They are super reliable. Use code RISCO at checkout for 20% off. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Drisco coming at you guys with another video, boys. And today, I'll be going over 10 gameplay changes that you will see in Madden 22 The Yard, next gen and current gen. So let's go ahead and hop into it. Now, if you guys have not already, make sure you drop a like, comment, and subscribe, fellas. Doing those three things will go a long way, and I would highly appreciate it, fellas. And also, make sure you turn on that bell notification so you guys never miss anything Madden 22. All right, fellas, so now hop into these 10 gameplay changes. These 10 changes are going to be stuff that's on next gen and current gen yes it's going to be on next gen and current gen so i'm not going to be talking about stuff like you know the movement the uh momentum stuff all that stuff that's only on next gen i will not be talking about in this video i'm going to be talking about stuff you will see no matter if you're on next gen or or current gen you're going to see this once you hop into man 22 the yard gameplay you're going to see it so um that's what we're going to be talking about in this video um and in the background of the you know me of me talking i'm playing the man 22 dynamic game Game day trailer um so that's that's what is playing uh in the background of this video and this is next gen gameplay now fellas with these gameplay changes these are not gonna be all the the, the gameplay changes for the year this is just what EA has told us already and just what i know from playing the beta so this is not gonna be all the gameplay changes so don't think this is gonna be like the only stuff coming to the yard and stuff like that because they haven't talked directly on the yard they haven't dropped like a full blog on it they'll be dropping the full blog on it and going like into all the details july 12th so that's when we'll know everything about the yard that's when ea will talk fully about it um so yeah we don't know everything about the yard yet and this is not gonna be all the gameplay changes now i do know you guys are gonna be wondering how do i know this stuff is coming to current gen and the reason why i know this is because they did just drop a blog yesterday and it was talking about all the gameplay changes that they are making and they said specifically what is going to next gen they, they said you know in the blog what exactly is going to well what is exactly going to next gen only so that means whatever they talked about and it didn't say you know next gen only or didn't have something that is just a next gen only feature that means it will be it will be going to current gen too that's what they basically mean because they're not going to come out and say oh you know this is coming to current gen they're not going to come out and say that because they're trying to push next gen so they're not going to come out and say you know oh this this fix is coming to current gen too they're not going to say that but it basically they're implying that because you know last year when they was making all these updates and fixes to the game whatever happened on next gen went to current gen too whatever like gameplay fix like let's say catching or you know blocking or something like that that always went to current gen too there was nothing that happened on next gen like fix wise that didn't happen to current gen too if it you know if it was something that was like you know gameplay wise core wise it was always translating both the only time it didn't was like movement but movement we already knew movement was exclusive to you know next gen that the type of movement that they had on next gen that was exclusive there but everything else they, we, we already know it's going to translate both ways. It's going to be on both uh, versions of Madden 22 because that's just how EA works. All right, fellas, so the first big gameplay change we are going to talk about of the video is catch animations and post-catch animations. This is something I talked about a couple videos before, but we do have some confirmed information by EA right here. So it says there will be no more rack multiplayer catches, no more um, questionable short yard short yardage multiplayer catches, and less slowdowns by receivers with a step or two of, of separation. What you will see is more single-player catching scenarios where players are independently playing the ball or seamlessly playing the receiver with catch tackles catch knockouts and mid-air collisions so i noticed this in the beta 2 where basically they're taking they're taking out a bunch of those rack um double like the double uh player animation so you know the jump where they would like go over their head and they, they would like get warped into each other and the receiver would catch it or something like that they're taking all that stuff out so whenever you're racking or whenever you're trying to do a rack animation while catching the ball you're not going to get no double you know double player animation no more you're not gonna get none of that and then also regarding catch animations there's no there, there's gonna be a bunch of you know different aggressive catch animations and different type of possession catches there are a bunch of different ones like they add a lot in the yard especially because the yard has like a lot of like different animations like fun and fun animations 
plus what's also in normal core Madden, but they add a bunch in the yard. So the catch animations are crazy. Like there's a bunch of new ones and they're actually pretty wild. And then on top of that, there's post catch animation. So let's just say, you know, your player catches the ball. They're going to do like a certain type of animation or they're going to have like, like, like some type of feelings like, like after they catch the ball. So let's say, you know, they catch the ball, they fall on the ground and they do like a push up off the ground or they do some push ups on the ground. They do a whole bunch of different stuff like that after the catches now. So it's, it's kind of more realistic because you know you know players have feelings or they you know, they react a certain type of way after they catch the ball so i love this change all right fellas so the number two gameplay change we do have is sideline catching and we're gonna have um catch radius so the first thing we talk about is the sideline catches so they also said in the blog said we've also improved sideline catching by adding logic for more accurate foot detection and added brand new sideline catch animations for more variety in both core Madden and the yard. So now when you catch into the boundaries, those toe drag catches will be more accurate and efficient. So they said it right there that that's going to be in the yard. And I'm guessing they they specified the yard right there because I guess like that was like kind of like a problem next last year where, you know, foot detection and, you know, just variety of catches on the sideline were a problem. So that, that's why they specified the yard in that paragraph. Um, so yeah, you're going to see a bunch of new catch animations on the sideline. And you're gonna see better just detection and accuracy on the sideline. You're gonna see, you know, it will, if you inbound, they're not gonna count you out of bounds. They're not gonna cheat you like how they would last year. So that's the sideline catches. And then the catch radius. This is something new. It said, lastly, we've done some tuning to improve the catch rate, the catch height thresholds, so that big receivers will have a larger catch radius. So that is something huge. So um, you know how last year, you know, you'd be able to, you know, moss people if you had like a six five, you know, Zeus and stuff like that. That's just going to be like a thing. It's, it's going to be like better implemented because it's just going to be a larger catch radius for if you're a bigger receiver. So it's just going to be like, you know, it's not it's not going to be as much of a, an, it's not going to be a two people animations as much. You're just going to have a bigger catch uh, radius. So, you know, if the ball is like up in the air, you know, it's high, it's high or something like that, you're going to be able to reach up and actually grab the ball if you're a bigger, taller receiver. So I love that they made this change because this was a thing. This was something that they needed to add. They needed this. All right, fellas. So the number three game play change is going to be swatting so last year swatting wasn't really like a big thing you know usually you would have acrobat on your prototype and you know you would jump for every interception stuff like that you would just go for the you know press y and go for the interception every single time this year they're making changes to swatting so that swatting is more effective so you have right here it says um defenders attempting to swat the ball will have a larger range to reach the ball to knock it away so this means that swatting will definitely be a move it will be the move it will be effective this this year last year it wasn't that great um but this year you know let, maybe you're out of position and you know you maybe you go for a swat you're gonna be more likely to get that swat now especially if you have acrobat so let's just say you have acrobat with this change that they are implementing that is gonna be really really crazy for these dbs you know if you're playing on defense you're definitely gonna want to swat this year swatting is definitely gonna be a huge thing so let's say you know you know you're out of position you're trying to trail you're you're trailing the receiver or you know you're kind of like a, a good like five yards from the away from the receiver you might want to swat now instead of trying to go for those picks because swatting is a huge it, it got a huge tune basically they're changing that a lot so basically swatting is actually going to be useful now all right, fellas, so number four gameplay change we do have is high point passing. So it says right here, retune the high throw mechanic to make it more effective. So this basically is saying that, you know, if you're playing quarterback and you're, you're, your friend on your team is a 6'6 physique, you're going to want to make sure you're doing these high point passes because they will be more accurate this year. So like I was talking about earlier with the, the high, the better catch radiuses for, you know, bigger receivers, you know, if you have a 6'6, you know, friend on your team, he's 6'6, you want to make sure you're doing that because they're going to have that higher catch so if they're 6'6, they're gonna be better, they're gonna be they're gonna be able to jump up for that high point pass. Now, let's say if your friend is 5'11 on your team, that's gonna be bad because you know he's not gonna have that good catch radius to get that high point pass. But if someone's 6'6, 6'7, something like that, they're gonna be more able to get that pass off. They're gonna be able to catch that pass. You know, it's gonna be away from the defender, so they cannot intercept it. Because the usually when you do a high point pass, the defender can't intercept it because it's just way too high for them, especially if they're trailing or something like that. The defender just cannot catch it. So it's basically gonna put it in a point where only the receiver can get it. And then if your if your receiver is taller on your team, that's gonna definitely make this the move for this year. All right, fellas, and the number five uh, gameplay change I do have is ability. So last year, um, and the reason why I want to bring this up on the gameplay list is because last year, you know, you wasn't able to get gunslinger, you wasn't able to get, you know, these certain type of abilities that would be in normal 
normal Madden, you were not able to get it on your yard player last year. But this year, you will be able to. So Gunslinger or just any ability that you weren't able to get last year, that will be in, you know, the yard this year. It's basically almost every almost every ability that, that requires, you know, sk like skill players, any quarterback ability, any receiver ability, all that is coming to the yard this year. So all that is coming. And then on top of that, we will also be getting probably new abilities EA has not talked about yet. They have not talked about, you know, what abilities, what new abilities are coming this year, what they are changing about. But they haven't said any of that. So we'll probably figure out some more of that before the game releases. But, you know, this, this is going to change the gameplay a lot. Having, you know, Gunslinger on your quarterback is going to change the gameplay. It's going to change gameplay a, a huge difference because you're going to be able to get that ball out faster. Or, you know, having this certain ability on your receiver you were able to get last year, you this year you will be able to get it. So this year, the uh, ability-wise, it's going to change the gameplay a lot. All right, fellas, so number six gameplay change I do have is pass coverage. So it's talking about zone and man coverage. And this is more like a CPU thing because, you know, you have CPUs on your yard team. And, you know, you want them to play, you know, good zone or good man when you're on defense. And they're going to be making a bunch of changes to this. So they have three, like, big, like, categories for it. So they have back pedal um, slash turn and run uh, transition proper leverage and vertical crossing routes so basically saying um they, they, like i said this is on the blog um basically this is saying that they're going to be focusing on these three things that will basically help you know the cpu or the ai just better in defense better on defense when they're playing in coverage when they're playing in man they're gonna have better uh, they're gonna have proper leverage they're gonna have a better back pedal and you know turn and run transition it's a bunch of stuff for that so like it's gonna help cover two any type of man any uh cover three your ai will basically play better this year when on defense they're gonna play better this year and i love this because you know usually the the uh the cpus they don't really play good zone they play good man but they don't really play good zone so i'm glad that they're actually tuning the zone this year so that they actually Actually play their zone they play their assignments and they know they, they get to the spot faster basically and I love this um, because the CPU if the CPU can't play no defense then you know your team is gonna be in shambles your team is gonna be down bad and you know it's gonna be rough so I love that they made this change all right, fellas, so now the number seven um, gameplay change we do have is tackling, fellas. So tackling, they made a bunch of changes to tackling. Um, they have some categories here. They have touch player down tackles. They have sideline tackles, early hurdle tackles, concurrent gang tackles, new and improved broken tackles, and then new tackling momentum logic. So basically, they made new animations and better just improved animations to these, you know, to these different type of tackles. So they have a bunch of new um, tackle animations and just improvements there. Um, so like gang, concurrent gang tackles. Tackles. Their problem with gang tackles last year is that sometimes, you know, uh, like let's say three people would try to tackle one person and maybe that first person misses the tackle, like your other two players would dumb out. So now they added more animation so that those three players actually tackle the player. You know, the one person doesn't miss a tackle and then, you know, the dude runs for 60 yards for a touchdown. No, it doesn't work like that. Those three players will all tackle them at the same, uh, tackle that person at the same time. They're going to all make that tackle and they're going to actually wrap up and get the person on the ground. And then um, something that I did also notice is like hit sticks. Hit sticks, they felt pretty much the same, you know, if, you know, if, if someone was a similar size as you, you know, you would hit stick them. You know, fumbles were, you know, pretty, they, 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 I feel like fumbles were pretty balanced. Um, but hit sticks, you know, if someone's going to be bigger, if someone's bigger than you, yeah, it's going to be hard hit sticking them because they have the new um, momentum logic. So, you know, if someone's bigger than you or someone's like a, a bigger a bigger ball carrier, they're probably going to truck you. Or you're going to miss the tackle whenever you try to hit stick. So momentum is definitely going to be a, a, a huge thing. And, you know, how big you are on the field is definitely going to be a huge thing with trying to hit stick and make tackles. Um, so, yeah, I love these changes that they made to um, tackling um, because, yeah, they needed this. Tackling was a big problem in last year in the yard because sometimes, you know, you would just break tackles, and, you know, your players would glitch out. So, yeah, they needed to do this. And now number eight change I do have is presentation. So um, that, they, they already said for next gen, you know, the presentation and normal Madden is going to be different than, cur than current gen. So the next gen is going to have, you know, crazy presentation and stuff like that no in normal Madden. But in Yard, they have a new presentation. And I'm pretty sure this will be in current gen too because it's, this is not something that needs a lot of, you know, power to do. The stuff they have in uh, normal Madden for next gen, it t I know it took a lot because they have a different scoreboard. They have different, you know, crowds and all this different type of stuff but regarding um you know the yard the the presentation is different but it didn't take a lot from them so i'm pretty sure this will be the same for current gen there's like a new walkout animation a new walkout you know presentation stuff like that um but the scoreboard is the same but like the walkout animation the the, the celebration all that stuff stuff like that you know before the game and after the game 
all that stuff is different. So they did change that. Um, and I love that. I love that they changed it, but I wish they would have also changed the scoreboard too. All right, fellas. So the number nine gameplay change we do have is um, pass leading and pass trajectory. So they do have on the blog right here, it says increased ranges for pass lead and pass trajectory. So what this basically means is, you know, let's just say you have a player, you know, down the field going across the field and he has a step on his, you know, receiver, I mean, on his, uh, on his defender. When you pass lead it, the ball is going to go further. It's going to like, it's, it's going to lead further away from that defender, basically. And, you know, you're going to get more separation now. Whenever you lead pass on Madden now, it's going to be a better lead pass and it's going to be further away from that defender. So your receiver can, only your receiver can get to it, basically. And then pass trajectory is, you know, when you're throwing the ball deep, the zip and, you know, how, how the ball goes in the air, that's going to change too. So that's going to be in a better place and that will be improved. So I love that. So maybe, you know, you know how sometimes you would bullet pass it, you know, the, the uh, cornerback behind him would, you know, intercept the ball. That might not be a thing this year. That's probably going to be better this year. So now, you know, if you, if you, if you have zip on the ball and, you know, it's trying to, you're trying to uh, have it go over their head still, it, they're not going to be in position to get it, but your receiver will still be able to catch the ball and run for six. So I love that they made these changes to the passing. And now, fellas, the number 10 and last gameplay change I do want to talk about in this video will be celebrations celebrations is going to have a huge change this year and the first reason why there's going to be a huge change is because you we're going to be able to uh change and customize our celebration they already said it on the blog um they said we're going to be, be able to change it and you know customize that area to where you know we can have certain celebrations and you know stuff like that that's going to be that's going to be huge and then on top of that they have a bunch of new uh celebration animations so like they have a bunch of new celebrations so when you dance or stuff like that it's a bunch of new celebrations i love it um and then they're also probably gonna be adding the gritty you know the the Je uh, justin jefferson uh touchdown celebration that he does they also have kind of confirmed that that's coming to madden 22 too because the creator of the gritty he basically you know talked to madden and he basically said that they have something in the works where they, it, it will be in madden 22 so just expect a, the, the, just expect there's going to be a bunch of new celebrations a bunch of new celebrations and you're, you're going to be able to customize them this year but all right guys that's it for the video thank you guys for watching like comment and subscribe and until next time peace